Moon also addressed the issue of Japan's wartime sex slavery during the event. He reiterated Seoul will not be seeking renegotiation of the 2015 deal, describing it as defective, and also called on Tokyo to apologize. That leaves the bilateral relationship at an awkward position. Kwon Jang-woo has this report. President Moon was asked about whether he was satisfied with the follow-up measures to deal with the controversial 2015 Seoul-Tokyo agreement on the issue of Japanese wartime sex slavery. This is how he answered. That solution announced on Tuesday is to discredit the agreement, saying it is fundamentally flawed, but not seek to renegotiate or dissolve it. Seoul also said Japan needs to voluntarily offer a sincere apology to the victims. It's a response that has received a mixed reaction from those in Korea, with some understanding the need to maintain ties with an important regional partner, but seeing the move as doing little for the victims themselves. A sincere apology. It's hard to define what that exactly constitutes. And the Moon administration have said they will continue listening to the victims. But when the 2015 deal was reached, there were 47 registered survivors. Now there are only 31. There is not much time to have their voices heard. Meanwhile, Tokyo's initial reaction has been strongly negative, saying Seoul must honor the deal and that an official complaint will be made. And in response to Seoul's calls for an apology, those in Japan will point to the deal as a form of official apology. But Tokyo must also consider the need for good relations with Korea, especially with issues such as the North Korea threat in the region. The 2015 deal was one Prime Minister Abe actively pursued, and if it were to be broken or renegotiated, it would do a great deal to his political image at home. But there are many areas where he needs to maintain relations with Seoul, so despite strong words, he is unlikely to take strong action. Snubbing Seoul's invite to Pyeongchang 2018, though, remains likely. With both countries understanding the importance of their partnership, a total breakdown of the bilateral relationship is not expected. But tensions will remain, and for the victims, the comfort women issue, which the deal said had been resolved in 2015, is definitely not over. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.